Hey everybody, this particular GeoGebra task allows students to prove two triangles congruent through uh, transformational geometry. And yes, whereas I know teachers often teach that two triangles are congruent if and only if, all pairs of corresponding sides are congruent and all pairs of corresponding angles are congruent, right? Those are just the mere effects of the triangles being congruent. Those aren't the causes. And yes, whereas we have uh, theorems that help us reduce those sufficient conditions, in this case we have side included angle side of one congruent to side included angle side of another, right? But the real reason why any two items are congruent, whether they be segments, angles, circles, is the fact that one can be mapped perfectly onto the other under one isometry or a composition of perhaps two or more isometries. And remember, isometries are geometric transformations that preserve distance. So in this case here, I often have students literally prove these two triangles congruent, right? In this case, we have to translate uh, the first triangle first by that vector we just made. And so translate by vector, click on the triangle, the vector, and literally there's the image of that triangle under a translation. And do you see the other uh, transformation that has to occur at this point? Take a look at it. If you said rotation, yes, we have to rotate this triangle a certain angle about uh, this point A prime 3. So to get that angle, let's actually measure the angle first, right? So here, here, and here, right? So this angle GeoGebra is calling, I guess, delta, which is 199 degrees. So I'll use the rotate about point tool right here. Click on the triangle. We'll click, click on the angle. Oh, sorry, no. Click on the triangle. Click on the point. And then instead of putting a number in here, I'm going to actually put delta, the name of the uh, actual angle variable. And we have to rotate that clockwise and hit OK and check it out. We have just mapped one triangle onto the other. And it gets even better because, because I put delta in there and not the actual 199, I can actually change the original triangle and show that, wow, you know what? In this case, this particularly illustrates, doesn't prove the SAS theorem, but it actually helps dynamically illustrate it, right? That if uh, two sides and their included angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and their included angle of another, then the triangles are, um, are congruent no matter what. So got lots of these here on GeoGebra. You can check out the link. Thanks for watching.